have always feared. The nature of the deep blue waters. Fearless. Willful. Ruthless. Unstoppable. I dread the day the tide might bring them back. The people of the sea. And welcome on back everyone to Total War Farron Part 22 of our Almond Mess campaign. The Sea People's cutscene has interrupted our beautiful night on the Nile and is, I guess, dawn rises on Egypt. So the reason we're able to even get that cutscene is because I have deployed several spies into our enemy's courts there and several that have not yet become our enemies. So we have uh, clapped eyes on the... If it's these invaders for the first time or where are they at? I'm not exactly sure where they're at, but we're not going to waste our time spying on around for the Sea People. Just be aware that that is why we are gained that uh, cutscene. The first time you see them, no matter what, no matter which faction you are, that is when that plays. So, other factions are going to see it much sooner than we did. Amon Mess. Amon Mess. We continue up the Nile. We need to get into position to attack Wasat, which we can easily do. Problem is, it does look like Tazaret's forces are uh, moving to get ready for a fight as well. They've got several armies kind of on the Nile cities, which is. Very safe of them. Go ahead and pull Almond Mess all the way up to Wasset. We can launch the attack next turn. They won't even see it coming. While Almond Mess travels, we have several other armies that have been getting into position as well, so I'm going to bring you, good sir, up to the border here. We're not going to be able to see who's all in the garrison. We can see that Shepsuab has 17 defenses, so this is a full garrison here. Which really, as we've discovered, is not that big a deal. Since you can just kind of turn and attack the reinforcing army, defeat them, and then deal with the others as they file it out to try to fight you. No, don't kill our friends. It's far too late. This army I'm going to keep back and uh, just watching the Miam people. Don't necessarily trust that they're not going to turn their... Gaze on us eventually as it continues to waver like around, to wanting to trend towards negative, but it does keep improving, so I'm not exactly sure if we're going to have to fight them or not. I'm going to try to confederate them, but it's going to be quite difficult to do so, so we might end up just breaking our ties with them and then stabbing them in the back. It's something Ahmed Mess would do. We are strength rank 1, and in fact, we're, what could a wretch like you have to get out of my sight? A foolish mistake. Yeah, you've got lands that are surrounding us. Let's let you break the other agreements. Then as soon as you do, it's My it's game on. Not. Some of these settlements that are a little bit more inland, like uh, Tua and Rez, some of our originals, are not nearly as well defended. If they strike out there, I can I can claim their settlements faster than they can probably do damage over here. That is my hope, at the very least. Not a lot of construction to be had, but the Libu are rising back up from the sands. That's a whole 19 stack army. Okay, now things are getting spicy. That's a lot of desert swords. Tier 4 infantry will not be a Warrior joke to, to deal with. Are there any up towards Kasef? They go this way, we're in trouble. Well, let's go ahead and hit the trading post to drop upkeep. Then make sure we have our... Uh, Desert Attrition Immunity with yes, Isis my path, divinity. set. Why is it that we're not taking Attrition? Not because of the way station. Front on over, hit the Shrine of Isis. Come on back. But I think it's time to add in yet another army down here next to Fez. We are really struggling on food, so whatever we do recruit in here is going to be really, really cheap. Ref with replenishment. Ori has one of everything. He's a family man. He is what he is. There are no gods or goddesses before his loved ones. Welcome on in, Cory. You're the best. 
The might of Nubia. Even though you don't have the best stat distribution, we will make good use of you. Common medium armor, a shield, and then we've added the shuttle over on with the troops that are up in Upper Egypt, since there's a lot bigger chance of uh, chariots to fight. Let's go for devoted taskmaster, and then perhaps the pickpocket as well. We don't have any more ancillaries. We could go ahead and build up a golden mask, but I'm not going to. The Corey, of let's give you Nubia. some troopers. Both Kushad archers, and then I think just a single chariot archer. I expect strong arms and open hearts. I want this army to be fairly cheap. Can't be too weak because the Libu Desert Swords will be a huge issue. Now we're going to go ahead and throw in. Straight spears I've already used. Maybe one elite Braze of the King. Yes. Let's get one armored unit. Be my brothers in arms. Very expensive we're getting now. Come explore with me. So just cheap from here. Two. Libu tribesmen are just going to. They're going to get butchered by the, the Desert Swords. 640. 2733. Yeah, their stat distribution is way uh, severely different. So we're just going to grab the, the Libu Swords. Let us ban Three Libu Swords and some Tribe Spears. We need a little bit more defensive units with this group. Alright, sounds good. Bring you back around. And then what we'll do with this army is stay in March. We'll go next to the garrison and try to convince them to attack the garrison. They seem to be programmed to really like to attack armies in March Dance, so let's give ourselves a little With bit of reinforcements. Brothers. Awesome. I'm not going to do any upgrading in here unless we can grab... Oh, I think Kasef definitely, if we're going to go for something a bit um, temporary. We'll snag at the defenses here for 300. Just make sure that's got plenty of little ads holding the line. Chom is going to be fragile, but we'll, we'll get back there. What is our onward to glory? Shrine of Anubis sounds hear awesome. Me, hear me. We'll just finish off our rebellious vassals. Amun, a foolish god. What we cast aside early on here. Uh, we'll go ahead and sack that one. Let's get going. Yeah, let's keep on moving. Move out. Force them to spend some resources defending it or uh, repairing it. That is. Senhetem has five workforce. I think we'll go for the Stone Carver's district, and then I'm going to take out the Happiness uh, building, and then we'll go for the Obelisk once uh, we've got the workforce built up again. Business, we are. Almost, we've almost pulled our civilization into uh, prosperity there. by ourselves. All four of those are us. Fertility and Yamhad. Hopefully, we start getting some payoffs for fixing civilization. Bullet Here action. We are. I think it's time to plot. And Once more, we need the embezzle uh, plot there. We'll go ahead and embezzle it's from the vizier once more. Especially he should see it coming, but he he doesn't. 100% chance to succeed. Thank you kindly. And Vizier, can I go ahead and take your connections? May we only get two, which is weird. Smile on, my generosity. smile on your generosity. Cost reduced by 25%. Yeah, we might as well. Let's go for anything that is uh, administration. Sounds fantastic. Then we've got one more. We can use that to build up some more. I uh, gossip with him. I knew I could trust a fellow Egyptian to be reasonable. I'm glad to hear it. Although you are soon to be receiving the sword, my friend. I've right, got our many, many unassigned skill points Ruler due to our crown powers Egypt. there. So more for Amon Mus. Take him all the way up to the maximum 20% upkeep reduction, as well as it prevents rebellions in the province. Yes, yeah, so we just have to keep the populace scared. How much are your troops now? Paying pennies for these guys, as long as we are continuing to ping pong off of the, the trade buildings. 
which is what we need, because as soon as we have to pay full price for almond mess, our economy is going to struggle aggressively. Oh, here's the Libu. Or the Dungle, that is. The Jimmy. Not sure what his plan is, but he's probably going to come up and start trying to raise a bunch of uh, outposts. Like a bully. Alright, just one more workforce in Nubit, and we can grab in the Nihilometer, which will hopefully fix up a lot of our food, food woes. Gregory's going to come in here and talk. What's up? I'm recording. Cat just decided to chat all the way down the hall. Uh, we will then build up the gold mine network. Make sure the gold continues to flow. We'll just unleash the, the gold vats Battle just down the point. canyon. And we'll just completely obliterate Gehez and Heb. It'll be perfect. A tidal wave of gold. More construction in uh, once the construction new, but we cannot. I'll be here in Hedgepaw. I'm happy to chuck in one of our shrines to Isis, help out with the workforce, and overall happiness there. Everything is cruising on along towards maximum. Perfect. All of our generals are well moved, except for some of you guys are in uh, an encamp stance, so it's going to tell me they haven't moved. We need to move and supply you. Do we have raid here? No, just the shrine of Anubis. Azeret's on the move. Who are you fighting? I expect nothing, but I'm sure you you'll still nothing. manage to disappoint. He's fighting nobody at the moment. He does have non-aggressions with Ramesses and his dad. Wouldn't mind fighting you, I just don't know when that's gonna when that's gonna kick off. Death to my enemies! Yeah, let's hit the shrine of Anubis once I more. Am in your hands. Make sure anyone that does come into our territories is going to regret it aggressively. I'll get there. You just come on back next to the town. You better have strong nerves. And what are we really missing here? We could just go for one of the axe mace warriors for a single charger. We've got lots of chariots, but some extra angry infantry are never gonna hurt. Perfect. Well, let's come on into uh, Amon Mess. And in the turn, Wasset's siege awaits. Is that Nocti you caught me? I'm gonna sip of water. He wants bronze for food. Never. He would use it to stab me. Ooh, some of our barter agreements with the Ramesses have uh, worn on out. That's fine. We can kick those up God, pretty easily. Sir, not even your own you fighting anyone that we can I killed you. make deals with? No. How sad. Well, you keep talking that smack, small set. Well, that's about First to belong to me. Son. You've got how many reinf no reinforcements? Well then. Amon Mess. Pharaoh yeah. Egypt. Reliability will change by negative one. Oh, I don't care. We care not that Nile will carry your corpses home. You first. Without mercy. So Wasset is completely surrounded. Got lots of reinforcements. We can't launch the siege, of course. Go ahead and set up our ladders. Kind of figure out how many towers to ladders we can get. Interesting. Wasset's a little bit funky, our labor force. At least give me as many ladders as I can grab then. Three ladders and a single tower. I don't know if we're gonna stay for a single turn. How many how many ladders can we just build? Four? That'll this will work. Continue! They'll let us in soon. We wanna take down Wasset quickly. That way we can continue our conquests. Clearing a path to power. Clearing a path to power. Courage is everything. Alright, Pyrenha. Oh, you can't quite reach. Shepsuab. That's alright. Uh, we'll continue to we'll start. Trust passing. Oh, is the fort stopping you from making it through? Excellent fort placement, my friends. To walk. We need siege equipment. Mad respect, although there is nothing in here that is worthwhile. Set up the ladders, and Best next turn there will be powers. blood. Or much cartoon bonking. This is the upper Egyptians, correct? 
here and do it. And get the Nihilometer, which is going to be awesome. Seven Workforce Growth, three Influence, one Victory Point, 60% extra food in this province, 10% for uh, faction-wide fisheries, which is great. Allows us to actually predict if the Nile's going to flood or not. I'm just going to build that immediately. Yoink, this belongs to me now. In goes the Priest of Divine, the coming forth of the Sobdet. Out he goes, somewhat worse for wear. Mud spattered and wet, to announce that it is time to sow our grain. A little bit interesting that it gives you more food from the fisheries then, instead of faction-wide uh, Nile farms. That's fine. We will come on down to Hedgepaw. I think snag that Kushite Delegate School. We have many vassals incoming. I'm going to build that immediately. The gold flow. The fire of Nubia. He absolutely despises us. It's only a matter of time before, before war. When Prepare sprint on over to right Isis. Hear me. I think continuing to drop upkeep is the way. And this will give us more ammunition for all bowmen. Beautiful. Come on back myself. in March and drop the upkeep again. We'll let them make the first move and then we'll we'll nuke their cities. It should be glorious. For Egypt's sake, put an end to your foolish vengeance, or I will. Oh. What's your problem, Premises? Is he mad that I'm fighting uh I like that he doesn't care that I'm fighting Wasat, but he does care that I'm fighting with Saw. I will go ahead and make this work. Not with bronze, I'll make this work for anything else. Hang on now, what if we can game Ramesses here? Fins of Alliance. I'll go ahead and give you, let's say, a thousand wood. Oh, he's really not about it. Even if all 10,000 wood was given to him. He doesn't care about wood. Okay. Now let's take this off the table. We'll make it work. He'll give, he'll ask for bronze. That's fine. That will do. Just keep Ramesses off our back for a little bit longer. Would like to try to confederate with him, but I don't know if that's going to happen with us fighting all these Egyptian factions on repeat. I fight for my brothers. Everything else is picking up slowly. Anyone want to be a I vassal? Speak. Others listen. Not just yet. Fine. We'll continue to build our might then. Jump up into court, the of the dogs, and I'm going to go ahead and just this court do a, a bit of assisting to the treasurer. Gain us 90 regard. We've got plenty of gold. Our glorious kingdom was built on cooperation. As exactly. Much as she knows. Hasn't been fooled once by us. Is my Not even once. I'll go ahead and give an increased movement. As well as a bit more charge bonus. Which, that I don't care so much about, but the extra movement's awesome. Shoot while moving is all we have access to for now. Let's keep moving up towards the Chief Fletcher. As none of these other are going to be all that useful in comparison. Death to my enemies! Ooh, Chiba. Die, sand demons! Definitely my favorite, my favorite voice line. Not what I was expecting. We've got a specific one for fighting the Libu. Another fight that is, again, just... We are overwhelming our foes at this point. We've got two excellent battles coming up. The Achilles. Ah, sweet the lethal blow of the century. I rule you now. Yep, our empire expands. Even more legitimacy, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a part of the sacred land. Yep. Excellent. Urker Oasis. Got new victory objectives. Complete the glorious conquest of Saw. Fair enough. The fire of Nubia. I think we shall switch this Amun shrine to one of. Old Kush will live in me. Go for Isis to stop our attrition in the desert. Probably the best call. Build that in immediately. We got the gold to make things happen. Then this is going to be our obelisk. It's great that we've been able to capture the obelisk points for the most part there. They're just going to stand in the desert, huh? Bold strategy. I think it's 
very soon before they start raising all of the uh, the outposts they can reach. Glory, Let's see if I can alert, catch this fool. So we'll come out into the desert Bad a little ways. We aren't likely to catch the Libu in, a, in an ambush. Let's try. Men. Definitely try. Mammoth's in the oasis. Awesome. Even the best call we've got influence above not above 80 percent which is what the kind of the sweet spot is there yeah i think the kushite favoritism is the way to go here and chuck stone mine or go for the overseer's office in chiba which is the way and we even have enough for the obelisk here oh Urker Oasis is once again prosperous. An attempted coup. Let's see if this army tries anything. It's lurking around here somewhere. That awaits you. And not wait. Starve a while longer. Starve a while longer. Before we down here in the south, I'm going to keep you here, but jump on out and grab a little bit more morale. I will do great things. Then come on over to the shrine of. Isis, we won't have enough movement, I don't think, but we'll try it. Me your power. He's more likely to sack out those than do anything else. Keep watch from the walls. Okay, then we'll recruit a in Cory a few more. Of warriors. He wants some warriors. We'll give you slings. Join me in adventure. We don't need much I else just because these guys are going to be very lightly armored. Hearts. Even they're very elite troops. I'll prove myself worthy. Come on, tour. Is there any way we can launch an attack on Wasset from here? Yes, but then we leave ourselves open to Tazarad's building forces. I'm going to go ahead and go into an ambush and see if she is planning anything dastardly. We'll go to the guard compound here, and I will complete it instantly. We have so much gold. How much time do we have on our... Ambition. We're nearly there. We've got ten more turns to claim two settlements. I think we can do it. We look across our land and which is far and wide. Down here in Moot, we have happiness is draining quickly. I just don't know that I don't know that I care. We ignore the people. We will pacify them through Mighty blood. Warrior. Northern Nubia also has some recruitment points, or some building points. Perfect plus for the guard compound. Now we're missing a spot for our chariots. Which I have realized only too late. I oh, never mind, they're here in Miyam. Perfect. Nubian chariots, ahoy. We shall swing on in it to Sehenesmet and in the turn. Right, the turn is again ours. It looks like Miyama is still not keen on fighting us, no matter if we're breaking agreements or not. Got a ultra drape for the hit, isn't it? It's gonna be great for dropping construction costs wherever he's at. Kingdom updates all as one has been issued or a new commandment. Great stuff. Not as great as murdering the people of Wasset. I mean, incorporating them gently into our armies. Let's get them. Right, Sandstorm is approaching. This looks more like uh, we're in crisis mode than anything else. We'll go ahead and deploy. Perfect. I like that night battles keep us from even having our own reinforcements. This is a huge stretch of wall. I'm going to take a look at Wasat. I think most of the Pillars of Civilization have their own map. Wasat looks very similar to others, but I think there's a little bit more of a walled compound here. I don't think I've seen a giant pool in the center before. Definitely not filled with crocodilians. Still a beautiful map. Feeding on out into the Nile. Excellent. We've got reinforcements coming in here. I think we'll just keep everyone together. Overwhelm them with sheer force of numbers. We've got tower here and here. Let's go ahead and give two of the ladders to this side. Yes! The glory! We'll just keep the Kavesh Warriors on there. That 
info screen out of my way there. And the weakest portion of the wall for our archers to fire on. Because they will be flinging flaming arrows back at us. We want to split up defenders a little bit. They don't have a ton of them. So we can be extra mean. Try to make sure they're split up. Armored archers. And then the Dubian Bowman as well. I don't have to worry about explosive towers or any kind of artillery or magic, so archers can be a little bit more clumped up. What we'll do, though, is have the spears up front. And I'm marching it ahead of these guys. All in guard mode. Almond Mess and the rest of the infantry all in their own groups. I don't want the Kushite runners pushing the ladders then. Sounds like a good way to get them butchered. So instead, with the armored spearmen. And again, we'll have them attack this side here. Have one of the ladders going after this tower pretty aggressively. And the other one will be a little bit further down the wall. I'm going to be a little bit harrowing getting through the walls, but before, or once we are in, it should be a slaughter. Time to force them into battle. Chariots in their own group. Never this thing started. Chariots come on away. On you guys head up and start setting in the towers. Go oh, after either side there, and those are just maybe a few of them is going to have access to flaming arrows. Infantry. Set up over here, away from our troops. Meanwhile, all these new archers, you come on in and start chucking at their archers. You should have the range easily. Javelins up into the lads and set up here. Is that being the intent? Clubmen come up and get rocks chucked at you. And the axemen or the compassion warriors can be over here. Beautiful. I uh, will grab the troops that are already ours. Send them on in. You take position here. And you just take a little bit further down the wall. Break their necks. Fireball moving would be absolutely ridiculous here. You guys go stand way up front. Hope the towers fire at you. Everyone else. Go ahead and give Degenia a headache. Release. Never miss. You guys can give these spearmen a headache, and that'll Release. do excellent things for us. Nubians forward a bit. All of the slings in. They don't have a lot of fire arrows. We should have an easy time slaughtering the fools. And bring the. Here and here. What are you guys doing? Keep moving. Look like they stopped pushing it for a moment. Slay them warriors. Shoot them down. They're using the force to guide these arrows right over the walls. And absolutely butcher this, uh, this enemy lord here. Staying in one spot and going into a shield wall would probably keep him safe. Oh, he's not even the lord. Looks like these guys got bogged down too. They like, lost their, their siege equipment for a moment. Your wall for you. Go ahead and make sure we're not wasting arrows. Let's go after enemy lord there. Most of them have uh, given up on their fight. I guess we'll take them off of guard mode. And then you, we're going to give a special mission. Fight these enemy archers. Can't really trust fire arrows. They're going to hurt us more than the enemy. Bash Carter to the walls. Which is perfect. They are over here as well. All right, so the mace warriors in. Just overwhelm those walls. Infantry 
Bring them in. They lose a bit of range. Rapid fire and go after those archers. Yeah, that was definitely a hot shoot. You all heard it. Bring the other Kapesh warriors in to get up on the walls as well. Alright, you guys are deployed. Perfect. Get down here and claim this. We're not getting shot up by those towers anymore. Beautiful. Now let's bring the rest of Almond Mess's infantry in to help. Up and over. Blasting those conscripted axemen, and you guys come on up. Water gates. Get up and over those walls there, lads. Thankfully, our archers are so incredibly elite. Ginny is having a terrible day. You two go up on this set of ladders, and you two, the others. We get up and over those walls. This tower is under our control, so we'll send the spearmen up. We're taking more forward positions. All the while continuing to harass the enemy archers. Go up to those upper Egyptian archers. You guys rotate. How are our world guard doing? They are completely surrounded. So we're doing very well. Using more knees than anything else. Down there and butcher those archers. Wish I roll guard is slicing their way through with these uh, upper Egyptian spearmen. Weak and useless. We'll stay here for a moment. This is awesome. Absolutely be better with uh, with blood. Cannot lie. Make sure we're not wasting any of our other units here. Let's get these javelins up on the walls as well, so everyone get added into the, the list of lads needing to get into the fray. Set up back in the back. Chariots can't really do much until the gates are shattered. Okay, so just keep harassing these upper Egyptian archers. You as well. Move in. A kind of a almond mess I would like to get further in. Three archers can move. I'm not able to actually give them orders. We're having a little bit of a stuttering issues, which does tend to happen to these large sieges like this. Look through the gates. Get them. Not sure how that happened. You guys rotate a little bit there. Keep chucking into these scripted axemen. Up over the walls, lads. Javelin set up. You can give everyone a bad day. We're very tired. I'll mess we scare anyone off. No one's close enough to us. How sad. Power and pride. Keep moving in. If the gates are down, we can send the chariots in, which is a uh, good night, sweet prince. To victory. They're out of arrows as well. Destroy them. Devastate them. I fear of these Kapesh guard attack this group. Kill them all. Everyone else will get into a melee. That one's going to get set up down on the uh, position I asked you to. Let's roll themselves up haphazardly over the walls. Almost manages to split the spearman's line here with just sheer massive numbers. Chariot's making it in. Yes, indeed. He's definitely decided. Javelins are acting as a tar pit for a moment. Nubian horses are giving him bites. He, did, he was never going to make that one. I'm not sure why he charged in solo. The yeah, axles are holding their own. However, briefly, send the chariots up and around since they're having so much trouble getting through those gates. 
as they definitely would. There's so many men in the way. And that looks to be the white flag. Rest in peace, people of Wasat. The triple yaw. Just a few more stabs for good measure. And that's the end for Jejeti. You poor fool. Uh, we are going to claim Wasat and now a this new crown. To us. Oh, it does indeed. Now we should have access. Oh, we have both? I thought you had to claim uh, both the Deshrek crown and the Hejet crown to grab the Shanked one. This one gives you two legitimacy. Proves all court position effects. Well, that's the one. It is time we don the double crown. What is owed to me. Even though it doesn't seem By like we should have means. access to this yet. Unified Egypt. Under Abin Mess. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought it either. Have anything else in terms of excellent armor? And is there anything above the blue tier? Un uncommon seems great, but we know there's purple. True, Pharaoh. We just not had the uh, honor of finding any of the purple gear outside of our banner of Kush. Beware my wrath. We've got this awesome uh, dual crown. Here we extremely are. close to the final the tier of uh, legitimacy points. And influence in Egypt. Go ahead and come on in and gossip with the vizier. Egypt stands stronger when her children are united. Got plots against us. And other plots against Tazaret. Love to see it. So this boosts the effects of our court. How so? More favor with worship deities, especially Amun, lower shrines. Visit sacred Egyptian lands with temples for gold. We haven't been doing this nearly enough with our high priest. And this is Amun Mess, or obviously not. Who, who is our high priest? Can you tell me which one, who this is? No is the answer. It belongs to you. All right. It boosts up the powers. How so? We shite gold anywhere. Flanking maneuver for the own army. I couldn't tell you. Apparently, oh wait, it's not. It's not actually been affected yet. That's why. We may have been. We may have put it on, but it will not actually be applied until the next turn. That makes sense. Right, well, Wasset has all sorts of interesting things going on. They've got happiness and influence coming on in from the Artisan's Workshop. I'm going to destroy that immediately. This was the Grand Temple of Amun. What a waste. I'm going to keep it because it's a Grand Temple, but Amun is weak. War Council. This is for the Upper Egyptians. Yes, so I'm going to go ahead and destroy no this at Wasset. See what other kind of unique items are here. Royal Tax Collector's Office, extra legitimacy, influence, victory points, 30% more production to all resources, and then 100 income. Forget armies. Wasset's co cohort of tax officials is the most fearsome imperial force ever assembled. It likely is. Got lots of food here in Wasset. I'm thinking we will keep Whichever one of the food buildings gives us more, so it's irrigated farmland. Not expanded. We'll go ahead and demolish that building. We've got Smawa and uh, Ati. Food here, stone here. Sounds great. Okay, can we take down the fort? With a simple auto resolve. Ooh, new combat animation. Right in the gut. We won't be needing this anymore. We were too much for them. We were too much for them. Never waste a resource. This mob has the been destroyed. I can't have this coming back to haunt us. And now we move in to the incredibly weakly defended settlement. Death to Karape. 
And his settlement also now belongs to me now. Indeed. Now we're gonna come on in and replace. Actually, that fort is is actually a perfect spot there because it is a pass and you aren't able to get through without dealing with the fort first. So we did raise it this time. I will just build that back up, no problem. Courage is everything. Move through to claim the saw and I guess complete. Why do we have to go for Mefkabe? Fun name. Oh, spa, we're up to three. So I think we're gonna want more stone or more bronze. Bronze is the call this time. We have such vast lands. That's half of the half of the episodes now. Well, he hasn't moved too far inland. This other one is dangerously close to our, our weaker settlements. Looks like he's pushing through towards Tacham. Means that's going to be an aggressive pursuit. We're going to lose our trading post. Fair enough. The fire of Nubia. Butcher us some more Libu. Stands and fights. Take it to him. Now we need to make sure there's no sandstorm. Wait. Sweltering to sandstorm. Now we get sandstorm to sandstorm. Nope, this is perfect. They won't worry about sweltering heat, but neither will we. Okay, so now how do we best take advantage of the dunes here? I'm thinking we force them to come on down this way. And we set up. There's a lot of them. Keep them fighting. Keep our troops fighting off the sand for our, our more medium tier guys. They're going to perform much better. We also need room for our archers to fire. Off the sand. Libu are happy to fight on sand, so. Desert Swords in the center. Ash Guard behind them. Might have to be in the sand ever so slightly. Getting it done. We do need to be able to deploy our X Raiders a little ways back, far enough back that the enemy shouldn't actually chase them, and we can just charge them in. And the same thing on this side, we'll just pull them away. Got our slings. Front. Also, be great at dueling with enemy archers. Nothing will stop us. Nothing will save them now. Have the Libu composite bowmen on this side with the other. The Tesseti actually have some pretty decent melee stats. These aren't Tesseti, but either way, they've got pretty decent melee stats. Got the place. We're missing our Royal Archer. We will deploy on this angle. We can. One over here and just one directly behind. So they've got pretty, pretty heavy armor there. Set them to. Flaming Shot drops their reload by quite a bit, but morale by 8 is fantastic. Right then. Keep the Chariots up front. Arrow Guard. Probably safe bet to keep them over here with the other Axemen. And our Lord holding the center line. We'll make our enemies burn. We'll make them burn. Nothing will stop me. Let's do it. Get the uh, chariots in a group, infantry as a squad, and then we'll get things going. Perfect. I'm going to deploy the spears a little ways ahead. We'll lose a lot of their attack and melee defense, but I don't mind them getting charged first. We'll keep them in a spear wall. Axe them back as far as they can go. We'll bring you, Bowman, kind of back as well, since you've got a lot more uh, range. Chariots start moving in. We want to stay on the... Upper edge of the ridge, or just kind of harassing them on the other side here. Otherwise, they'll get shot at from up on top of this hill. Only hope. Move the boys up a little bit there. I will succeed. Bring the chariots through. Sons of Egypt. Scorching sand, that is blinding. We found them, have we? 
mid range. Let's go ahead and pull through swiftly there. Well, it's taking a fair bit of damage. Falls of Bowman are not weak. Keep harassing these Libu tribe spears. I believe they are not shielded. No, they definitely have one. The way we can harass them, keep moving around the outsides. On both edges here. Come up to the high ground. Well in a way, you two as well, just keep they far enough back that they hopefully don't want to try to try to chase you. Spears back. We'll have these special warriors kind of come on over a little bit. I can achieve anything. He can achieve anything. Arrows right in the back is going to achieve a lot. Oof. Three or four more fall. They keep rotating around the back here. Keep harassing their, ar their, uh, their archers and their uh, flanks. Definitely time to spread these guys apart a little bit. No challenge. Right then. In short order. Beautiful. It's moving around the outside. As long as they've got high ground, they should have a pretty good chance of dodging, or at least not dodging enemy arrows, but dodging them the most of their damage. There's units just all over the place. Huh. They've definitely lost cohesion. That's something we're going to have to worry about, though, because that's strange little speed bumps. out on the flanks a little bit more. They might end up getting attacked. Those chariots moving. You're doing all sorts of awesome damage. Well, that's a lot of missed arrows there. There's not as many archers on this side, so let's go out to this angle. Keeping those Libu warriors in tight with their desert swords, which is not really working out for them as much as they think it is. Just outside of their range. Meanwhile, back on uh, Camp Bad Buns. Just waiting for them to show up. Keep blinking away at them. We've got a lot of ammunition on the uh, Royal Chariot companions. And I wish we had some wind spells, though. Good grief. I mean, whatever this group is, go ahead and charge that. Unless it's going to make you charge the entire unit, we can just run down these guys out of the outside. Boink. I knocked them over. Also apply fear to the whole unit. Really wish we had some spells. Yep. Pretty much the best position we possibly can. I don't really want to move much more than we already have. Just keep harassing. We've lost a little bit of cohesion ourselves. Go ahead and form up. Honestly, you can go ahead and... Uh, Punish this unit over here pretty aggressively. Maybe. Hive Mind is reacting pretty well. Just outside of their archer's range. Alright, some of these warriors have gotten antsy. Send you guys around the outside. He's a hail of doom on these poor fools who have no shields, very little in forms of armor. Several of them have arrows sticking out of vital areas already. Gotta whittle through their armor first. Go ahead and send these guys out a little bit and we'll have them set up into a... Nope, they're gonna flee beforehand. Faster and stronger enemies nearby. Make sure our chariots aren't in any kind of danger. Since some of the composite bow went over to kind of bother them, but it's just they're not they're not very cohesive. Move the chariots out to the side here. That unit got absolutely eviscerated. We're gonna go ahead and switch targets. 
do our best to at least. So you're gonna go ahead and set up in your wall. Both sides will bring you guys up and around. Well and truly out to the side. Here are having all sorts of weird issues. Go ahead and charge these Libu Desert Swords. They should be nothing at all. No threat. Dump some death into these Desert Swords here. We get into rapid fire. Shield wall for those who can. Lord's gonna get blasted a little bit more than I'd like, so go ahead and have you slings focus fire these composite bows. Come on through. My screw me up. Try to smash those bowmen. Alright, we got the charge reflection, which is perfect. Now go ahead and have these units charge in. Those axes to work. Make sure you're eliminating the enemy archers instead of our own units. We're lighting guys on fire. Yes, they decided to not go for the attack order. We've lost a few of the chariot companions, but as long as they actually make it in to hit these composite bowmen, that'll be pretty devastating. Speaking of, cape crazies with their axes. We can move. No capes. Worked out for us this time. Make sure our archers are decimating the enemy archer ranks, otherwise we are going to have all sorts of troubles. These axemen didn't get the uh, flanking attacks that I necessarily wanted for them, so you guys charge in. You hit the front group. Keep riding down there. Archers not getting caught by the Libu Desert Swords is pretty key. To survival. Smash through those archers and keep going. You can come on over and help out with these desert swords. Ash guard. God save us. Fight for your brothers. Brothers, run. Fight for your brothers and brothers run in the same sentence. It looks like we've got them. And defiant. Pull our chariots through so it's less in terms of a friendly fire. Let's get the fear coming on over. I think it one last volley. Lucky you guys. And in the words of Zanismet, the sand demons have been felled. We got another army to deal with though, so I'll round up these guys. I'll catch you in a moment. Ah, uh, sweet. Oh, that's my sweet victory. Sweet victory. We're gonna go ahead and take the replenishment. There is honor in servitude. Agreed. And plus, our economy is doing so well at this point. Let's see if we can lure him into a uh, Get fight. He can't win. Go into a march stance. He should actually just attack us. On my way. Also, try to lure this army on over. Although, as I say. My time is now. Oh, have we already done it? Oh, good grief. Well, there might be another army coming on in, so we're going to pull away from them just a little bit. Hopefully, they're not able to get reinforcements right off the bat. Here come the Ilibu. It doesn't look like we have any armies on the outside just in that general vicinity, so we need to keep building up uh, this force here. It can be very cheap and cheerful warriors. We just need to make sure it's got guys that can at least hold the line uh, while chariots smash in. Let me see. We just don't have a whole lot of movement. We've got some upper Egyptian swordsmen. Some javelin throwers. Which are going to be... The javelin throwers will be great because they aren't going to take any attrition due to being in the desert just kind of naturally. And these royal chariot companions are also just fantastic. Who of them is all you really need. Hard men and now we can grab... Job. As he said, a hard man for our job. Dangerous, dangerous words there. Let's go ahead and grab some Libu Andy Raiders to kind of blast through their armor. Make your name and that could be it. What we really need slings for their archers and chargers to deal with their shields.
two workforce sitting around in there, so it's not one we're going to go for just yet. In Tachiba, we have warrior building. I don't think we need it. So I'm going to go ahead and demolish that. And I'm going to go ahead and take out the happiness building as well. Because the shrines to Isis do all you need to counteract any happiness issues. Okay, well, do we continue our fight now with Karga? They are one of the stronger uh, desert nomadic tribes. I think we can take them down pretty quickly. Even Do we have any deals with you idiots? You. <laughs> Even your father hates you. He's dead. Leave him alone. Just like you're about to be. Talk smack about my pop pop. I'll prove myself worthy. This gives us extra morale. We don't need morale. Death to my enemies. Said no one ever. We are out of attrition immunity, but let's go ahead and move on in. Off we go. How many people are defending? Chespnet? See how you say that, I believe? Chespnet. Spirit and pride. Do a bit of raiding before we start busting into enemy territories. We'll, we'll start trespassing, Keep see if they want to fight me. Oh, we can't raid because it costs 50% movement. Okay, well, or it is. Now I'm entirely unscared of you. After I kill you, I'll learn the names of your children. You'll stand no chance. See, that's not gonna make me murder you any less aggressive. I'm happy with all that, uh, all that sass. Let's just go ahead and sack this one. Move out. And move in. Not out. Lovely. Wars with everyone. You all deserve it. You have unassigned skill points, though, here I with... I A minimum head of Empyrin, huh? And does it tell me if they're one of our, uh... Doesn't look like it. If they're one of our court positions. I know we gave them to all of the initial unnamed lords here, but I don't remember who has, who has what. Uh, so, that's great. Uh, let's go for more presents here. Take off the shoot wall moving and replace that with the Chief Fletcher, which is going to drop our gold income by an additional 50. I give him more ammo. We have one more skill point to pass out here with Pyrenha. Warrior of Nubia. You, my good friend. Two into your presence. For that lovely drop in upkeep. Battle is my calling. Awesome. I think he should be able to single handedly deal with the Saw people. We've got ancillaries available. Oh, we've got a stockpile ledger, which will drop workforce costs for all resource buildings. Why not? Enjoy him on tour. Working through to actually get access to any of his, uh, any of his titles. A little bit too much in terms of actual spread. Penismet, you come on back up. Great Isis. Here in Uwas, we're just waiting for the additional. Let's go ahead and take out the happiness of the Senate House. And in the meantime, we can build up how much gold we're making. Or go for it. more legitimacy. Does seem to be the way. Down in Mut, we need to continue to grow our workforce. Our stuff. Are any of our generals sitting in a camp doing nothing useful? No, but we do need to come on back down to Sahinismet and bring him back to uh, the trade area here. Just preparing to invade me, um. In fact. How much is that armor worth? I should pluck it off your corpse. How much is this purple feather worth? This will change your reliability around zero. We don't need allies. We have violence. Structure available on Moot. Also should have access to a brand new conquerable city. So after we just took down a wall set, next up looks to be Abju or Emenu. So either way, we're we're gonna be rolling into a battle with. Oh, wall set has Minifer as well, does it? I might send Amon Mess all the way up Nile then to claim Memphis. 
intriguing. I'm thinking Tall's Red is likely to fight us, but yeah, let's go for let's go after Minifer. Make some interesting grounds here. So we're going after Minifer, and we'll go ahead and initiate the conquest. Yeah. Starting up, we can get a summit with the local elders, gift to the local warlord, or finding a route in at night. This gives us the most troops, so the gift of the local warlord it is. We're up to four troopers here, and then six from the natives. Additional two from the native support, so six total. That is great. And then we can just send Amon Mess aggressively up the coast after we have clapped these two cities here. Perfect. And truthfully, we can send Imon Tour to deal with the Wasset settlements and have uh, Amon Mess sprint his way all the way up by himself. I think is what I'm going to do. Power and pride. Bring you in March into your positions. over to hit this uh, supply zone. Do a bit of trespassing to come on over here to threaten Kati. I'll get there. See if there's an army over here. We've got plenty of chariots, so I think even in March, you guys can handle it. All right, we see nothing for now. Bit of a cliffhanger. Exciting. Let's zoom on up to these two. And blow the turn. Right, our ambition has been fulfilled, so we now get a nice injection of 3,000 gold into our treasury as well as an additional victory point. How close are we to a plague in Kush? No! And we've finally been struck with some of the evil. We're almost to a minor victory. Awesome. We're at least going to be going for the major victory. I'd like to throw down with Sea Peoples and it conquer Minifer. Once we have all of the crowns, which I thought we had to... I honestly thought we had to claim both Wasset and Minifer to have the dual crown. Which is what I believe it should be. You should have to be... Oh, this is Wasset or Minifer, yeah? Interesting. Don't like that at all. It should definitely just be... For this one, it should be you have to claim both. All right, well, with that, I am out of time for today. I have been a Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub thon. Burn down Kati in the next one. I'll kill you.